Hello my Sock Universe for just a little heads up, I actually recorded this video ahead of the Euros before I changed all my background. So this is still my old background, but I decided it's probably a good time to get this video in just before the Copa America. So off to the unpacking video. Another Wilhaben bargain that I found that this one is more for the Copa America. Hence I'm wearing my messy World Cup winning jersey. And yes, I have all the patches, blah, 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 that I still have to put on there but that's eventually gonna happen this one was listed on Wilhaben with the following disclaimer yes the jersey is original however it is also old so some labels have been washed off for that reason i'm gonna giving away for 15 euros it was one of the jerseys that was kind of a compliment to one of my favorite sub collections in my collection and add to it, it was also someone living on the way to work. So all I had to do is, is to arrange in such a way that I go to work, stop by and then get it. Worked like a charm. 15 euros quickly exchanged um, its owner and I got a jersey that I'm really, really, really pleased with it. So let me show you. It has only one minor detail that could have been better. One minor detail that could have been better. I leave that out as a cliffhanger. I don't have to unpack it because I have it already hanging here. One, two, three. Brazil 2002-2003, the home jersey. You know what? This is the part that was washed out, that's why it's not in perfect condition, that's why it was sold for 15. I really don't care about that. But 15 euros, it is an, for an ori original, I really find a good deal. It has the tags on the inside and you know, back then Nike had this black tag and with all this stuff. So it is an original. I'm really, really happy about that. It's a blank. I mean, if this would have Rivaldo, Ronaldo, or Ronaldinho on the back, it would have been even better. But you know, uh, who's complaining about that one? Now, the one thing that e eagle-eyed viewers will have already identified, this is not the World Cup winning jersey. This is the Argentina World Cup winning jersey. Why? Because it has only two stars. This was Brazil's fifth World Cup win, but they should have only had four stars. A little bit was annoyed at myself that I didn't see this in the listing, that I was just so taken by the design. But on the other side, who flipping cares except my little collector soul. It's still the same design. And now I have from 98. Again with Brazil 94, I have the one from just before the World Cup. It's not quite the one born at the World Cup. So, but you know, with a little bit of squinting, I can say, yeah, from 94 up until today, I have the jersey of every World Cup winner. Yes, the two Brazil wins with some blemishes, the fifth star here. And then I have the jersey that has a very similar design, but it's not quite the same for the 94 World Cup. But hey, it adds to a sub collection. The design of this one is meanwhile a classic, but I have to say I'm still not quite a fan of it uh, with all the slivers and, and so it's also I think the first Brazil jersey that didn't have a green color, so that is weird. However, it's this fluorescent yellow, really bright yellow that uh, Brazil is going back current current as well. So uh, that's why I'm probably going to use this also for my Copa America coverage. Um, just because it really uh, reminds me of that as well. I also want to point out how teeny tiny the crests were back then. Really tiny. I mean, at the moment it's all blah blah, but back back then it was all really teeny tiny. That's kind of, kind of weird. Of course, this jersey is most remembered for the final win and Ronaldo having the most stupid haircut in history. Maybe also the most iconic haircut in World Cup history and him scoring a brace and winning the World Cup. Brazil, I think they won all games. It was rather convincing after a horrible qualifying campaign and he scored eight goals. That's a total that yeah has now been equaled by um, Mbappé at the previous World Cup. But uh, that is a mark that had not been hit uh, by the, up until that time a whole lot. So also very remarkable stuff. 2002 World Cup kind of check mark but i'm pleased that i have this one and for that price i'm not complaining any case let me know what you think about this jersey would you have bought it i don't know i still think i did the right the right thing because uh that one that 
hole in my collection has been bothering me now I have sort of patched it and it's fitting that both Brazil jerseys are not perfect probably will have to make a video on my World Cup winning jerseys any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too also please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day. Bye.